Russ, I know your, your feeling coming from Tuesday was that, that was a good point, but especially kind of in, in the context of the last three or four games, really, you, you used the word reset button a few times. That's what that felt like, really. Yeah, we're uh, delighted with the performance first and foremost, and whatever comes after that is, is the bonus because I've always said if you put a performance in, you've got a good chance of, of winning games. We didn't quite uh, manage to win the game, um, but we'll take the next best thing, and that's a point in a clean sheet. Yourself and Jim have spoken about kind of wanting to get back, getting back to the basics of, of running that little bit harder and, and heading that little bit further, and all those bits and pieces seem to be in place as well. Um, yeah, listen, we've had a couple of um, clear the air talks, not because it's crisis time, but just because where we are at the moment at the, at the season with, with you know, 10, 11, 12 games remaining, um, and we've just come off the ball a little bit um, in, the, in the 10 days previous to Spennymoor. Um, so no crisis, just a little bit of reset, back to basics, doing the, um, the basic things well. And then, um, and then we'll take it from there, build a little bit of confidence, which I think um, was growing through the game. And we ended the game really well on Tuesday, so that was pleasing too. Yeah, I mean, you mentioned kind of like those talks and the players have had those conversations. But I guess the proof as to how they react to that is in the performance following. So I guess you must have been pleased that they've clearly taken on board some of what everyone had said. Yeah, the pleasing thing for us, you know, we, we did change shape we, and we work on things quite a lot. So it's, it's no surprise to me, but we changed a little bit of shape. You know, we respected spending more on the run they're on and the players they've got especially at the top of the field. Um, and, you know, adding, adding that little bit of spike of Cliff Moyo coming in just gave everyone a bit of a, a, bit of a lift. And um, Albeit we had to bring him off at half-time, but I think the, the energy was there. You have mentioned him and touched on his performance on, on Tuesday. He's, he seemed to give everyone a boost, didn't he? Yeah, he did, and he was excellent. And, um, you know, that's full credit to the physio and the medical team as well in terms of keeping him at the levels and training and bringing him back at the right time. Um, we were only ever going to give him 60 minutes, so he was 15 minutes beyond what he should have done anyway. Um, but that 45 minutes was just an indication of what we've got and what player we've got from now to the end of the season. I know we've still got a, few, uh, a couple of days between now and Saturday, but how do you think he might be looking for the weekend? We're going to have to just see how he is today, really. Um, you know, if he's saying he's tight, it might be a game too soon for him. Um, but luckily, there's nothing major in there. It's just getting his body back to the rigours of Saturday, Tuesday, really, which he's got to take time. Um, and he needs to get his body acclimatised and, uh, and, and, and worn to the, the Saturday, Tuesday fixture list. And Nathan Cameron as well, you've obviously been with Nathan for a couple of weeks, what's the latest on him? Um, just frustrating really for Nathan, um, he feels he can't get to the, to the levels uh, due to his hamstring so he's had a scan early week and we'll just see uh, the results of that. I'm hoping that um, it, it comes either one way of, yeah, he can be available straight away or he's out for a couple more weeks so we'll, we'll, we'll wait and see on that result today. I suppose, fingers crossed, that everyone kind of is, is semi back and ready available in that department. It's an area where you've got competition and you need it, don't you? We need it all over the field and we've done really well this season in terms of, of competition for places. Um, it just seems to be the last two or three weeks it's all come at once. Um, but no excuse, because um, like I've said before, no one really cares and feels sorry for us, so uh, we'll just crack on. Brackley on Saturday, of course, I mean, we knew this was a really tough run of games, but there's something in particular about, about going to Brackley, because I guess in the most complimentary way, they're just such a stingy team, aren't they? And fair play to them for it. They've been great, and Kevin's done a fantastic job over the last few years, um, and even more so this year, you know, the defensive record just jumps out here, really. It's, it's fantastic, so we, we know we've got to be up against it on, on Saturday on a big pitch, um, but the sun's out, and uh, we'll go there with a, a load of backing behind us, and uh, we'll look forward to it. Well, that's the thing, and it is a daunting prospect in that sense when you consider the defensive record, but if you're going to tick the boxes and things to go there with, it would be a good fan base and hopefully a bit of confidence in the group, so no, no fear either. No, especially after a good performance, so um, it's, a, it's a great time to go there. Confidence should be lifted a little bit, and um, like I said, you know, it's, uh, it's a top of the table clash, second versus third, so these are the games we want to be part of. And there's just no telling really, is that you've said all along that all of the teams in the league, not just us, would have the ups and downs as we now in the end of the season. It's just also unpredictable, isn't it? Is it good fun, or do you find it? No, it's, 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 not, it's not very good, I don't like it. Um, love the ups, but I don't celebrate them too much because I know the downs are just around the corner, so. Um, Listen, it's been, a, it's been a tough couple of weeks just because of everything that's gone on. But, uh, you know, it feels great and, you know, great to have 12 games remaining, still in the mix and, and, and being really competitive. And 
um, I think the Tuesday performance and the result he's got to um, hopefully goes back on track. Is there some sort of clarity that comes with being at this stage of the season as well? Because if you've got 40 games left to play, so much still can happen. But I guess if you look at it, 12 games to go, if you win a good share of them, you know you're going to be more or less where you'd like to be. And uh, I guess that you get the hope straight, I suppose. Yeah, it's pressure on every team now. So you're either fighting for the top of the league, you're fighting for the top three, you're fighting for the top seven, um, you're fighting to stay in the league. So um, it's pressure pot now for every every team. So you know we're not you know the only team pushing and vying for for top spots. It's twenty other clubs have all got their own ambitions as well. So um, you know it's uh, it's it's great and it's it's the best team will win the league at the end of the season and then the uh, the next six will be in the playoffs. It's as simple as that.